A funeral at the nightclub? This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section for all my peeps that live in uh, Virginia. I got this shirt for you. Let's go, Brandon, in Virginia, because I think Virginia is making a tremendous comeback, and I'm excited for you guys. If you're interested in The Officer Tatum Store, make sure you go on to the store and uh, shop around. All of these items are on the clearance sale, 50% off all of these items. This particular shirt is in here, 50% off if you're in Virginia. Um, also, I want to I want to let you guys know this as well because people get this misconstrued or confused. Exclusive discounts. If you are a first responder, military, active duty, veteran, or dependent of somebody in the military, uh, police, fire, EMS, doctor, nurse, medical staff, uh, if you're a teacher, K-12, kindergarten specific, I mean pre-K, K through 12, if you're a professor, you're a student, you're 55 and older, you're a truck driver, or you have a CDL license, or if you are on disability, low income, or you're unemployed, you have a discount on my store. All you got to do is go to exclusive discounts, go right down here and find where you stand. You're a police officer, click get code. You have to verify and put in your, your information to make sure that you're an actual police officer. I ain't going to have y'all scamming me on here. The devil is a lie. Um, and then you'll get a code, and it, it, it exists in perpetuity, meaning that it's going to continue to be a code for you for the rest of the time while you're in uh, whatever position you're in. I think that's it. And y'all already know what to do. Let me put my hat on. I look crazy without my hat. My hairline is messed up. All right, we back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me let me talk about this real quick because I think it's invaluable uh, to touch base on uh, the problems that I see in some of these commun communities. Some communities, not all the communities, but some communities are struggling. Uh, R.I.P. to this young man. Very sad situation. Uh, I'm sure he lost his life in gang violence just looking at him. Um, however, it was kind of weird that they would have his body in a nightclub. I thank God it wasn't a strip club because that would have been even worse. And I know they probably wanted to, but the strip club probably said no. They got the young man uh, stiff as an ironing board sitting up here uh, uh, at the strip club. I mean, at the club. Now, let me not criticize, right? I think that this is funny that they did this. His death is not funny. People mourn in different ways, so I'm not really trying to say nothing about them because if this is what you want to do, you live in America, you can do it. However, the club said, hey, we they submitted an apology. Say, hey, look, we didn't know what was going on, bro. Don't we, 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 our condolence to the family. We didn't know they were going to put this boy up here like this and, and why he uh dead. He dead in the strip club. I mean, in the club. I want to say strip club. In the club. Rota film. <laughs> That's weird, man. I, I, I like. Let me say this. I think that it's unique and it's cool. If this is the way the people that love him want to remember him, I think it's cool. To me, I think it's weird. To me, I kind of think this whole lifestyle is probably what got the young man's life taken from him. I don't know that to be true, though. And I didn't look into it, but I mean, come on. I, I, I think that he probably he got goon on his neck. I think that it's probably that gang life that got him this way. It's very sad, man. I didn't lost family members, man. I remember my my little cousin and my auntie died at the same time. Uh, they, they were my great auntie. So my mama didn't have no siblings. It was uh, my grandmother's sister um, and her son's first child, his firstborn. I remember carrying both of them in the casket. I ain't never seen a kid in a little casket like that. It was terrible. And And his son and my son was about the same age at the time. It was absolutely horrible to do that. And so I know what it's like to lose family members close to you. I know what it's like to lose them in tragedy. I know what it's like to lose them to prison. Uh, I, I know what it's like to, to for your family members to be gone. So I get it. You know, I, I think it's kind of ironic. I think it's funny a little bit that they put him up in the club like this. 
Uh, I don't want to go too hard on it because if that's how you want to remember your people, then that's how you want to remember your people. I think personally that it's weird to have them up in the, the club like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but like I said, man, I, I'm not God and I can't tell you how to bury your kinfolk. But I just think that this whole culture, this whole club mentality is probably what ended the end of his life. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is culture that people don't want to talk about. And I would recommend, you live in America, do whatever you want to do. I would recommend for young people to stay away from the club. Stay away from this lifestyle. Stay away from the hood stuff, man. Get away from it. Even if you grew up in it, get away. Go to college. Don't go to college in your city. Go to college in another state. Leave your family. Go become a man or a woman on your own. Your family can give you little nuggets or something here and there. You need to get out there and you need to get it on your own, become a mature individual. That's my thoughts. If you, if you can't afford to do that, then, hey, you got to stay at home. But if you have an opportunity to get away, leave home. Leave. Become a new person. Now, once you get all these tattoos on your face and stuff, it's going to be hard to do that. But go be a new person. I experienced this, man. I was growing up around people like this all the time, and I wanted to be like that. I got Young Savage tattooed across my stomach right here. I used to have gold teeth in my mouth. I, you know, I was all into that stuff, man. But when I left home and I left that environment, I started to see the world very differently. And I said, man, there's more to this world than that. Actually, I'm tired of saying the N-word in front of everybody and being this way, bumping my music loud, you know, and all that stuff. I just, I just said... This, I don't think this is what God wants me to be. This is not all God has called me to be and do. I don't want to end up like my cousin them. I don't want to go to prison. I don't, want, I don't want none of that stuff to happen to me. I want to know what else is out there. How, how, how are these people, you know, making millions of dollars driving Rolls Royces legally? What are they doing? What are these people doing? You know, I had a guy that mentored me when I was in college um, you know, when I first had my son and he got on private jet, what, what are they doing? I want that. I don't want the thug life. I don't want the quick money. I want long-term investment money where your kids, 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 kids are set up where you have a family name and a legacy. And so whenever I have a chance, I tell the young people, man, get out the hood, man, get out of the hood, leave. When you go somewhere else, you're going to realize that you've been in a box you're gonna realize that you you've been you've been you you've been in a closet, man. You you sheltered from reality. Your reality exists in this in this hood culture. And I'm not gonna lie, it's enticing. When I was growing up, boosters come by the crib, you know, sell you stuff of 60, 70% off. You get Gucci's and all kind of stuff. They 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 boosting. That's somewhere you can only do in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, you know. I ain't gonna say too much, but man, you can get you can get it all in the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of cultural uh uh good in the hood to a certain degree, but then there's a lot of bad. So take what God has given you as a lesson learned, get up out of there. Move up, move on to the suburbs somewhere. You can you can go back. You can call your boys on the phone. Hey man, hey, you hey, come come go to dinner with me out here in the, in, in up north. We can talk about business. We can talk about life. We can talk about credit. We can talk about investments. Like, get up out the hood. Anyway, I beat that dead horse, no pun intended. I beat that dead horse down too much. So uh, we're going to move on. RIP to this young man. I hope his family, I really pray for his family. And his kid, he probably he may have kids and stuff. I really pray that God protect them, man. And, and it's sad to see this young brother lost his life. Gone, man. It's, it's sad, man. It's really horrible. But anyway, I love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out.